my fellow stoner, only person who passed me one, and I coughed. The icon. Snoop, how you doing, man? Wheezy, man, I, I, man, I love the fucking jacket, man. I love it, man. I need I got, that. I got a few coming to you. See I that? need that, that man. Mac coming full speed ahead. Say hey, no more. I need that. That remind me of my daddy, man. I remember that CD just sitting on the seat. He had a hey, oh, Snoop, first. Hold on, Snoop. Let me let you know. He had the he had the all on. He had the candy orange El Camino. Ooh. He had the candy orange El Camino. He had six switches. Mm. So he knew how to just, he ain't had three wheel motion, but he knew how when you make a turn, you put the yeah, back yeah, down, you put the back down on the right and you put, ah, come see, on, yeah, you know, come on, Shout man, out to Pops, nigga. man, you, you already know, man, how you been, boy, I'm, I'm so good, proud of you. I, was, I was telling Mac that watching you do this is the, is the elevation of your game, like, Thank you. like when you watch a football player going to analysm, like when you watch Deion Sanders, the GOAT, yeah. going to do an interview, yeah. this is what you doing, my nigga, you transferring your game into another level, I Thank love Thank you, brother, thank you, man. You already know I came in. You transferring your game into another level. That's the def. You are the definition of that, brother. You already know that, man. Now you come from an era of hip hop where the where the artists experienced racial profiling, and even had music and albums that were banned. Now the era was also very vocal about racial injustice and police brutality. Speak on the difference then and now. If there's any any like you know any comparison, has it gotten worse or has it? What what you think? I always, I'm always going to say it's gotten worse, mm -hmm. but through technology and, and platforms like social media and people having phones with cameras on them, yep. it's being broadcast. Yep. Like, racism been going on. Police brutality been going That's on. We've I've been, been trying to tell I've you about it. I've been trying to test about Exactly. It's just now being filmed. Like, come on now. You know, in New Orleans, y'all been getting beat by the Man, police. Just what? like in L.A., we've been Man. getting beat by the police, but I it ain't nobody them. there to bring the story to light with a camera. And they the camera is the best witness in court because he don't lie, he don't uh, change his story, and he can't be paid off. They still trying to figure out a way to make the camera lie, though, now with, when, when, it comes to the so when it comes to the people that don't want to get in trouble. You don't know what I'm talking about. But I thought the camera couldn't be swayed. Let them tell it. Mm, cold game. <laughs> now, now, what's your take on what's going on in the country right now as far as are you proud of the, of the way to, uh, how we standing up for equality right now? Are you proud? Is it, is it, is it, is it surprising to you? Is it surprising? It's not surprising. It's like, it's so, like, our generation, we we, we took it as far as we could take it. Yeah. We, we ran up the hill as far as we can. Now, this young generation, they're they going further than us. they different, like, man. You, you, come on, man. Y'all, they, they doing that. they, they run different. this game. Yes, and they are. What it's and I cannot, because I cannot lie. That's, yes, they are. We could only go so far with it, Weezy. Now, it's up to them to take it to the mountaintop, like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. They can only go so far. And then yep. they gave it to the Black Panthers. The Black Panthers can only take it so far. Then, then we got it. And that's like, it's up to y'all to take it to the next level. And the beauty is that you got white. Asian, Latino, and all races working with us Which, this time, yeah. as opposed to us doing yeah. it on our own. Yeah. Now, I seen I seen this week um, that the mayor of Los Angeles, Mayor uh, Eric Garcetti, he cut off what, what like one hundred fifty million dollars from the LAPD and plans to invest that into black communities. What's your opinion on that? That's a great step in the right direction because these police departments are overfunded and they overprotected. So now we just start taking that money out of their pocket and putting it back into our own communities where we could pol police ourselves. Because hmm. you know, like I know, ain't no police like a gangbanger in the neighborhood that don't gangbang no <laughs> Who more. Who are you talking to, boy? Come on, man. You already, everybody, you know, everybody listen to that. Everybody, what he said. Man, saying? he mean more than the governor. He mean more man, than anybody. Man, what? Man. You, your, so, your, your mama can't get your... It, it could be stuff in, in, the, in the lawn, in the yard that your mama can't get you to do. Let him tell you to do it. Watch how fast you do it. It's done, <laughs> and you're going to do it every day. <laughs> But see, those are the people that need to get to finance because mm. they're the ones who actually patrolling and controlling the neighborhood. I think they should call all of the gang members that have stopped gang banging, that mm -hmm. have organized their neighborhoods, that have put peace trees in motion and make sure that they get those finances and get them on a relationship with the police force. The new recruits or the ones that's coming in that don't know how to deal with black folks, get them an understanding off the top so it won't be no misunderstanding down the road. Exactly. I just spoke to um, Mayor Bowser from D.C. She just spoke on something similar, just saying how, she, how the same thing, that we need to we need to have more of us, basically. Police out. More of us, we... More of us on the squad, so when we see us coming, we don't feel too, you know what I mean? It's, it's not too much Right, fear. because, Wayne, like, like I always say, I grew up seeing black police officers in the black community. As mm -hmm. I got older, I stopped seeing black police in the community. So that's a different look when you don't have somebody to say, hold on, mm -hmm. let me holler at Lil Weezy real quick. Right. I know him. Don't shoot him. Right. Don't arrest him. Right. Let, I know his mama. Right. I know his brother. Right. Let me get at him real quick. He's he just a, a kid that's on the wrong path. Let me talk to him instead exactly. of let me beat him, let me shoot him, let me kill him. Exactly. Hmm. Now let's talk about um, Donella Frazier. The 17-year-old young lady who recorded George Floyd's death. She's being bullied for not being involved, but also getting therapy for actually witnessing it. This is something that she'll be dealing with forever. Now, yes, and I, po I posted on my page 
for all of the people to get her back and let her know that we got your back, sis. Mm -hmm. And we, we nullify bullies and we the big bully. Yes, we the bullies bully. You yep. hear me? So we want to give her some spirit so she can know that she did the right thing. And don't feel bad about it. And we're going to help you through this therapy because it's therapy for everybody. We all seen that. Yes, so we, we all need a little therapy. It yeah. ain't just you, baby girl. It's all of them. Yeah. Now, um, being the son of a Black Panthers and political activist, Pac often spoke on racial issues. How relevant is his music today? It's more relevant than ever. And when he spoke it, a lot of people looked at him crazy because he had a militant mind, but mm -hmm. he had a mind that was ahead of his time. Very, and one very thing, one thing about me and him, when I when I got with him, he taught me like military. Like it was certain things that we talked about where he was like, we're military. I don't talk to your soldiers and you don't talk to my soldiers. Mm. I talk to you and you talk to your soldiers. Like mm. he implemented that. And that's protocol and that structure. We don't have that. And that's what's missing. And I feel like what he was saying back then is what's going on right now. Everybody's coming together. They realizing that we need each other mm -hmm. and we better together than separate. Amen. Now, um, is there anything else you'd like to speak on to let the people know? Well, um, you know, that versus battle. When they gonna get you in there? <laughs> now you already, you already know I can't, I can't. I don't, Come on now, you the, you, you the young goat. You Man, the young goat. You the birth. You birthed the second generation of rappers. Them is your babies out there, right? Man, if they so you start deserve me, to be in the ring. If they stop me, ain't gonna stop me. Ain't gonna be like, gonna, gonna be like, they gonna have to ring, you know, the ringing the bell. Tune is over. You gotta stop. I ain't gonna stop. <laughs> nah, you gotta stop. Can't stop. So, I don't think but you, you, you there, my nigga? How, how long you been doing this? You been doing this about twenty now, right? Shit, man, I've been doing. This. Come on now, tell me. I've been doing about shit about thirty now, bro. Half your life. You, you <laughs> yeah. the Kobe Bryant. You the Kobe Bryant. Half Bryan, my life. Right? <laughs> That's my whole look, life. Kobe played. Look, Kobe played half his life. In basketball, yeah. half your life has been in rap. More than half, man. More see than what I'm half. saying? Yeah. I mean, you know, it is. I just want to see you in there because I love what you're doing. I know, I know what you bring to the table. You, you the young goat. You understand I me? Mean, a lot of people say that they goats, but they really not goats. You the young goat because when you when you do what you did and you birth a nation, you birth a nation of rappers that are emulent of who you are. All these young little this, little that, young this, they all are your babies. That's what you birth. I birthed the gangster shit. You birth this shit. I was about Please to say, believe. I was about to say, ladies and gentlemen, that just came from the goat. I was about to say that all that just came from the goat. Snookers, like, if you talking about giving birth, you already know you gave birth to the culture way before the these kids know what it is. Way before I'm talking about man, I'm talking about begging my mama, begging my mama. So I remember when she laughed at me, bro. I, re I really remember when she laughed. Now she said, "What you want?" I said, "I need. I want you to go out and give me a flannel, a flannel shirt." She said, well, "A flannel." I said, like, "A flannel." <laughs> she said, I remember she bust out laughing. She says, "That what y'all? That's what y'all 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 wearing these days? Flannel." She like, "Well, I I'll buy you twenty. Them bitches they don't cost too much." <laughs> I said, look, I said, a pair of dickies. <laughs> look, I said, a pair of dickies. She said, dickies. She said, school pants. I said, <laughs> I said some all-stars. She said, some all-stars. She said, boy, that's about a $100 outfit. But I said, why are you looking? You're going to be all right. That, I love this new wave right here. She, yeah. yeah. She, we, know how to take, we know how to take a little bit and make a lot out of it. And then that's when we came with the bling bling and the jury and the price went up. So Come on, my nigga. But I got to give, give y'all a shout out because, you know, I lived in New Orleans for three years when I was on No Limit. Uh -huh. And I, and I, I watched... Soldier Slim was my nigga. He was one of my real good friends, man, right? Rest so, Cuz used to take me to the Magnolias and yeah. I used to slide through it once in a while when Pete be like, nigga, don't go back. And he'd be like, nigga, fuck <laughs> that. We going back. And I go ride with this nigga. So it's like to see y'all get it and to see y'all win and run with it. This is beautiful, my nigga. Man. I love the fact when Cash Money came and did what the fuck y'all did, appreciate man. That's it, salute. Man. Love, man. Love, man. I appreciate you, Snoop, man. I appreciate you for stopping by, man. Stay safe out there as you will. You know, I love you. Keep doing what you're doing, love. Likewise, Anytime you need man. me, you know you got me. Likewise, too, man. Let me get that jacket, too. Don't forget about me, man. I got something for you and Mac. Come and send me the address. Hey, Mac, shoot me the address so I can send it to you full speed ahead. ASAP. And I got something for the babies and the kids. Everybody, believe it. ASAP. Send me some of that smoke, too. <laughs> oh, nigga, you know I got you on that. Love, I got my honey. own shit, too, now. I'm going to send you. I'm send send me, hey, yeah. you send me some. I'll send you some. Fair right, exchange, no it, man. Fair exchange, man. I love you, love man. You, Ladies and gentlemen, the legend, Snoop Dogg, man. That was just awesome, man. Awesome right there, man.